they see it. Yeah, they can see y'all. All right. So, knowledge is about to lead to the kiddos, because Jeremiah, he's supposed to read it. Uh, I'm supposed to read him a story every day, and he gets points for it, and then they get a prize at the end of the month. So, this one is called Rowdy, the Rodeo Rat. Tune up to the house top. Rowdy the Rascal was a rodeo rat. Ripping and racing in his ten gallon hat. Riding and roping on his ragged old cat. Rowdy the rascal, the Rosie O'Reilly. Rosie O'Reilly, all dressed up in red, came to his rescue or he would be dead. Rowdy was, a, was ready to eat some bad feed. Cause Rowdy the rodeo rat couldn't read. And the moral to this story is if you want to read, you have to practice to succeed. You'll be reading the rest of your days. Rowdy the rascal rat, you'll be making straight A's. The end. You like that story? Get a little country on that one. Nobody's now we got to read the spiders. No, it doesn't matter. They'll be tuning in eventually. Spiders. That's what we're reading next. What spiders look like. Huntsman spider. St. Andrew's cross spider. Triangular spider. Net casting spider. Tarantula. There are thousands of different kinds of spiders in the world. They are various sizes, shapes, and colors. All spiders have two main body parts and eight legs. They're really talking about some spiders in here. Most spiders have eight, but some, such as this bitten spider, have only six. Others have four eyes, two eyes, or none at all. Wow, spiders have really where spiders live, mountains, rainforests, woodlands, desert, and seaside. Spiders live in many different places. Black house spider. Most spiders have permanent homes, but some hunting spiders wander about to different shelters. Trapdoor spiders and funnel web spiders live in burrows in the ground. Some wolf spiders live in burrows, but come out to hunt. That's one ugly looking spider. Web making spiders usually live in their webs. Some spiders such as the leaf curling spider live in a curled leaf in the middle of their webs. Spiders, spider silk is very strong and elastic. All spiders can draw out silk threads from the silk glands in their bodies and most spiders use this silk to make homes or shelters and to build traps to catch their food. Hey, that's what Spider-Man did. Mm -hmm. that's, why, that's probably why you picked this book, because you like Spider-Man. The best known type of silk trap is a web, and many of these are fixed in place. But some spiders catch passing insects by flinging a silk net over them. What? You're from smart spiders. Many spiders use silk threads to build their prey and stop them from kicking and fluttering. Hmm. Think I want to be a spider. No, I'm just kidding. Many spiders use silk as a way of moving around. They fix a silk thread, something firm, so they can walk along it or use the thread for dropping down quickly and climbing up again. That's that itsy bitsy spider song. And up, you know, down came the rain and watched the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. See? Many spiders make silk sacks to put their eggs in for protection. Man, look at all them eggs. Man, I remember I killed a spider, and it was outside, and all these babies just jumped off his back. It was like, like about 50 of them. I kid you not. It was a bunch of them. Whoa. Some baby spiders make a silk line so that the wind can carry them to a new place to live. How spiders feed. Spiders eat insects and other small animals. Different spiders eat different things. Wolf spiders can eat as many as seven large cockroaches in one night. 
Maybe that's why you need a spider. If you got roaches, get you a spider. A um, wolf spider at that. But he got a big one. Let's see. Uh, fishing spiders can catch and eat tadpoles and small fish as well as insects that live in the water. Black widow spiders catch insects and sometimes other small animals in the very strong web. Look at that spider. And it catches some fish and tadpoles. That's crazy. And it caught a lizard. That's crazy. That's a, that's a small spider right there. Well, spiders can keep a lot. And look at that ugly sucker. Different spiders catch their food in different ways. Wolf spiders run after their victims. Jumping spiders leap onto them. Ambushing spiders wait for insects to settle near them. And spitting spiders creep up on their prey and glue them down. Hey, I ain't know all spiders can do all of that. Look, that's what Spider-Man can do. Look, see how he spit it? You know how Spider-Man flickers and he shoot that web out and catch him? Yes. Wow. Uh, most spiders kill or paralyze their prey with poisonous fangs. Spiders can chew digestive juices flow from their mouths over their food and turn it into a liquid, which they then... Ew, that's disgusting. He's eating a worm. That's, that's what... He um, turned the, the, the insect into a liquid. That's nasty. That's what Spider-Man... That's, that's how the black Spider-Man became Spider-Man. Are you talking about... Uh, oh... On the, uh, what's that called? Spider Man to the Spider Verse? Spider Verse? No. I'm about to say U Verse. I'm thinking ATT. Spiders <laughs> eat many insects, pests, and gardens, orchards, or orchids, or in houses. To who? Yeah, go ahead. If you want to press the wave, you want to wave at whoever's watching. Uh, which makes spiders very useful to people. Most spiders are too small to bite people, but. A few are dangerous. It is a good rule to be careful about touching spiders. I don't think I want to touch a spider. This is this is insane. That don't even look like a spider. That looks like a daggone roach. House dwelling. Oh, that is a roach. You must say there ain't no spider. Huntsman spider. Blackfield cricket. Oh, that's what it eats. Longhorn grasshopper. Wolf spider. Black house spider. Black. Widow spider. Ooh, look, that's how you tell a black widow. That that's that's the one that bit um. Ain't that the one that bit Spider Man? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, it looked like that. Uh, trap door spider. Oh, that's the spider that that comes out of the ground. It like if something comes near it, it waits on it, and then as soon as it gets near it, it snatches it and brings it into its its habitat. It's home. Funnel web spider. Ooh, look, that ugly. that was the one on eight legged freaks. They was hopping. These spiders were some big. Big spiders, I'm about to show you that movie. That movie is insane. But the spiders, they fake. But when they hop, they like, they can hop onto a person that's riding on a, a dirt bike. Oh. <laughs> we, we, we might have to watch that one. That, uh, that's the end. That imagine of a end. whole bunch of those spiders jumped on one person. Okay, so we'll sign your uh, sheet in the morning. Go put these in your backpack. Daddy, imagine if a whole, like, a thousand spiders jumped on one person. I ain't gonna be able to do it. I would have been like... I mean, I kill spiders. Now, it's snakes. Now, I ain't scared of them no more. But I don't want to mess with them. They don't mess with me. If they don't mess with you, don't mess with You're them. You're right. I live by that rule. Don't mess with me. And I, I won't, won't mess, mess with, with you. you. <laughs> it's true. If Treat you, me how you want to be treated. And I'll treat you the same way. That's the golden you, rule. If, Treat others... How you want to be treated. But I'm telling you, that rule about don't mess with me and I won't mess with you, that rule sticks with everything. That's like even when you at school, you know, you tell people, hey man, don't mess with me and I won't mess with you. Because if you keep on messing with me, part two of my killing spree is going to come out. That means I'm about to set it off in this world. But see, that's why I tell you, like, if you can walk away from a situation, walk away. Me, when I was young, I wouldn't walk away from nothing. You keep on messing with me, I was going to make you feel it. Whether it was us getting in the fight, whether it was me putting a, pulling a prank on you, whether it was me taking your test from you, erasing your name off of it, putting my name on it. That's what I'm um, telling you. Like, listen, Daddy did a lot of stuff when he was young that I'm telling y'all, don't do. Like, do not do. This is, this is why... 
This is why you're so smart. This is why y'all are smart. Y'all don't need to cheat off nobody. You know, we y'all learn at home with daddy. I teach y'all the ways and what y'all learning in school, so you ain't got to cheat off nobody. That's why we go over homework thoroughly. Because I don't want nobody messing with y'all. Because if they mess with y'all, they mess with me. And you, know how, and you know how that go. And I ain't scared, I ain't scared of nothing. I ain't Even afraid. Even if a hundred kids jump on me. Ain't nobody, ain't no hundred kids gonna jump on me. They gonna fly. Gonna be like cold. They gonna fly. Yeah. You, you gonna be like. They gonna fly. Yeah. I'm gonna be lying. Oh, we just having story time and daddy and son time. They wanted to go live while reading books. LJ, you say you gonna get your book? I'm gonna read about like two. Did you read it? Yeah. What you read? What's the name of this book? The Binder of Doom. Binder of Doom. Brute Cake. Wait a minute, you already read this book. You on page forty? So you finna start all over? No. No, we gotta start at we gotta start at once. You gotta finish at forty four tomorrow. We read about a few pages. Let's see how you read. Let's see what you got. Back Mr. to Fun normal. Man. Back to, back to normal. Back to normal. Alexander Bob was having a pretty weird day. Actually, not just a pretty weird day, the most weird day, and he was an expert on weird days. Today was weirder than the day he moved to an odd little town called, called Sternlox. The day he was first attack attacked by a monster, the many, many days he battled monsters. Let me show you how I would read this. You ain't reading with no enthusiasm. Alexander Bop was having a pretty weird day. Actually not. Just a pretty weird day. The most weird day. And he was an expert on weird days. Today was weirder than the first day. The day he moved to an odd little town called Sturmont. The day he was first attacked by a monster. The many, many days he battled monsters. Today was weirder than all of those days because today was perfectly, totally, absolutely normal. Sturmont was safe. The monsters were gone. The school year had just ended. Alexander watched his friends and teachers pack up and go their separate ways. Then he cleaned out his desk, shuffled out of Sturmont Elementary. Everything is just so weird. Alexander thought as he walked home. Worst of all, he and his two best friends, Rip and Nicky, had drifted apart. Together, they were the members of a club sworn to protect Sturmont from monsters. Rip. Rip, Nicky, and Alexander. Tough so Rip, the good, the, the good old days, tough on monsters and some kids, loyal to Alexander. Nicky, smart and fast, always had her friends' backs. Creative and full of energy, the leader of the S S M P, which is Alexander. I'll read this. All right. With no monsters to fight, Rip spent all his time playing video games. Nikki joined the soccer team and spent all of her time on the field. Homework, bedtime, repeat. That's Alexander. Collecting gems on level nine through ten, Ice World, soccer camp. Oh, I said 9 to 10. What? I'm tripping. Oh, actually, that's like a, levels 9 uh, into. That's a nine point. That don't make any sense. But oh, well. Uh, and then soccer camp. And then Alexander is lonely. So SSMP stands for Super Secret Monster Patrol. Yes. The SSMP used to meet every day. Then they met once a week. And then. When several months had passed with no monster attacks, they stopped meeting all together. Alexander wondered if he would see his friends at all this summer. He sighed as he walked into his house. Hey, kiddo, his dad sang out. How was your last day of school? Alexander wanted to say, I miss fighting monsters with my friends. Dad, I kind of sort of wish a monster would attack right now so the super secret monster patrol could get back together. But he couldn't say those things. Grown-ups didn't know about monsters. They couldn't see them. So Alexander just grumbled, shrugged, and plopped into his beanbag. Easy there, Mr. Grumpy. 
I've got fantastic news, said Ale Alexander's dad. I signed you up for a whole summer of crazy cool activities with the SSMP. Alexander fell off his beanbag. He suddenly couldn't wait for summer to get started. All right. And then that's chapter two. We're going to stop right there. That was pretty good. What, what level is this book here? Reading level 2.4. Point value 3.0. Hmm. I guess you're reading the right grade. But you passed this grade. You're reading on a whole ninth and tenth grade level. But hey, it just floats your boat. I like yeah. this book. Okay. Go ahead. Put it in. Guys, look back. at the back. Look at the back of the book. Here's check out the next How are they supposed book? to look at it and you holding it? You ain't even showing it. This one. There's two new ones. Well, uh, LJ, go ahead and put your stuff in the backpack. And then we'll get back and we'll finish out the night with watching our Simpsons and then y'all go to bed. No, the Spider Monkey. No, that was too long. We'll do that one tomorrow. Tomorrow, when y'all get out of school after you did your homework. So, all in all, reading to the kids is very good at night before they go to bed. You know, help them in their dreams. They'll dream whatever you've read to them or. Whatever they've watched, you just, especially uh, mothers and fathers doing this for your kids, reading to them, it helps them with learning how to read also yeah. and also learning um, how to read with like a purpose of understanding or with enthusiasm to paint a picture for them. You know, they paint pictures inside their head. They have an imagination. So this helps them. You don't always have to just send them to bed and say, hey, go to bed. Hey, go in there, go read to your babies, go spend some time with them, you know, go love on them. Don't just, hey, go to bed, night-night, don't let the, you know what, right? Don't say that no more, because there's bed bugs everywhere, so don't say that no more. You know, just do, I, I'm not telling you to do what I do, I just do this with my kids, because this is our routine, this is what we do. You know, we have our nights every night, you know, we have days, we have nights, we got evenings. Oh, I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge. Knowledge.